electricity. In any city, in any country, go to any open field you can get yourself to. Go to the tallest tree you can find and wait. Soon, everything around you will start to fade. The road, whatever you used to get here, even the town that may still be visible in the distance, all gone. Once this happens, turn, face the tree, and speak out loud. I wish to speak to the holder of electricity. If the sky remains clear, leave. Go as fast as you can, back the way you came, until everything comes back into view. If you don't, they will drag you back and feed on your still living flesh. However, if a storm builds up, close your eyes immediately. You will hear lightning strike the tree in front of you. Do not move, or you will be the lightning's next victim. After the lightning, count to ten and open your eyes. You are no longer alone in the clearing. Off in the distance, children's laughter can be heard. This is your last chance to turn back. If you don't, your life, should you manage to keep it, will never be the same. If you wish to continue, start walking towards the children. Soon you will see the children, all around ten years old, playing with an older girl. She will be normal height with blonde hair and green eyes, dressed in a soccer uniform and a bright smile. You must not make a sound. If you do, the children will mutate and warp into creatures so horrible you will wish to tear out your eyes before they reach you and shred your body until not a scrap is left. Should you be able to approach the group silently, they will stop everything. The children will fade away and you will be left alone with the girl who has suddenly become very dark. The clouds will become thicker until only the tiniest bit of light filters through. She will be looking down with a very dangerous look on her face. Despite this, you will feel a distinct pull as if you were being drawn to her. Walk carefully toward her. One wrong step and she will lash out, torturing you so horribly as to make you wish you were dead. Once you are directly in front of her, you must only ask, What gives them power? She will slowly turn to face you as the smile comes back to her face, though it won't quite reach her eyes. She will start speaking in a happy voice, but the words will be so grotesque you will wish nothing more than for her to stop. Luckily for you, she is a merciful keeper and will not speak for long. After she is done, close your eyes and hold out your hand. She will place something heavy and smooth in your palm. Once it starts raining, open your eyes. You will be back in the field beside a dead and charred tree. In your hand will be a single smooth battery, which is object 574. You are now able to bring people back to life.